mean, the classic division, you know, I really love the look. I, I um, you know, I wanted to get up there and be a part of that. But when I, after I did it, I was like, you know, the open men's is where I want to be for sure. Um, I think for my physique, is, it's a better, it's better uh, spot for me. And uh, it's just, it, it's crazy, man. I can't wait to get up there. And just, uh, you know, for this year being my first year, I just want to be able to stand next to them and see how I look and, uh, c you know, can build from there. So um, I'm not setting any high expectations. I, you know, I'm coming in my best. I'm going to do whatever it takes to be my best. But uh, I'm not going to set myself in some sort of, uh, like, a number to hit or, you know, a placing. Yeah. Whether you would ever consider going back to classic physique. Sounds like you kind of just, um, you know, gave us that answer. You tried it. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it worked out well. You won a pro show. You made it to the Olympia. But you feel better as an open bodybuilder? Way better. Way better. That was that was the hardest prep I've ever done. Like, my body just doesn't want to be there. You know, it's uh, at about six feet. At my, my cutoff was around, like, 222 pounds or something. And it was just, like, crazy, crazy to get down that weight. Um, and I just feel like it my body doesn't look very good when I have to suck down that hard. Um, it's just better my, for my frame to be uh, heavier. And I feel like I can just continue to pack on more size over time. I just didn't feel right in the classic. I, I felt like my body was, I felt like it was a raisin, you know, like I was too small. <laughs> I, <got a> raisin. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was disappearing. Was there any reason that you left working out in a way? Certainly, we have all the respect for those guys over there. I oh, mean, for sure. Yeah, they're great. They're good. They're good people. They're, but it's they're... an individual experience. For you, what what was behind the decision of coming back to Canada and not staying at uh, at Oxygen Gym out there? Yeah, I mean, for for me, it's it's a diff it's a different world out there. You know, it's a different life. Um, you know, the like there's a language barrier. Uh, there's you know, you have no family, no friends. I mean, they're good people out there. I made some friends. Um, but it just, you know, at the end of the day, uh, for, for my business, you know, I'm a, I'm a gym. I own a gym back home. I have other businesses here in Canada that, uh, you know, require my attention. And to be honest, like being, being away um, while I was in Kuwait, uh, it just, it can, it can affect those businesses. And I just feel like, you know, also, it just wasn't, wasn't fitting for me. So. I, I felt the need to come home, and uh, but it is a, it's a great place, you know, like the craziest gyms in the world, I would say, uh, oh. are in Kuwait. <laughs> from the gyms are are insane. Yeah, so. yeah. Like I would definitely go back there and like to work out. I think it'd be really cool. Um, but like for staying long term, it it, it definitely uh, it's a different lifestyle, um, and it just wasn't for me. But yeah. What year were you born in? Uh, 93. So, Dex, you were like six years old when Dexter Jackson did his first Mr. Olympic. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So, uh, what, a, what an animal, this guy. Yeah, no. He's, uh, he does it to last. And he's, and he's still, like, it's like he's getting better. Like, he still looks amazing. Like He's, really, he's really a vampire. And for as much as we all he's, love Dexter. I can't believe I'm going to be able to step on stage with him. Um, and him be, that being his last Olympia, I still think he's going to do another one, though. He's, <laughs> I really do. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, you know, so it's going to be, it's going to be a blessing to be able to retire in Florida, you know. You know, 30 years ago to me retiring in Florida, it's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So get ready. Get ready.